Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of October. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon sign or your rising sign. Your messages could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So let's begin right here. Here we have the cat. Okay, so um, this encourages you to reflect on the trust that you have undeservingly placed in someone or in a situation that you believed to be safe. Now, um, why that card is there is because there is a return of someone. Okay, now what I think this is, is that you may have been in a third party uh, you being the third party, um, and that didn't work out. I feel you may have brought it to an end, um, maybe for, it could be for any reason, maybe that person uh, couldn't or wasn't willing to leave the married partner or the marriage, or they told you that their hands were tied, that there was just no way out for them. Uh, for whatever reason you felt you had to end it, you now hear back from this person. You hear that something has happened in that marriage, okay? And now this person wants to try to come back to you. And that is what I think this is. But it was toxic, okay? And this person is not honest with you. So keep that in mind. In the past, you didn't think things through. Okay, so you may have jumped into that relationship without uh, thinking about the consequences. And uh, when it did end, it's like you, um, you were stuck in that energy. Even if you release the person, you couldn't release the emotion that was attached, is what I'm trying to say. So here we have you being unhappy. Um, feeling restless. I feel like you you were at a crossroads. It wasn't a decision you really wanted to make, but I feel that you did make it in releasing them. Here we have um, we have justice and we have protecting treasure. Okay, so you could have left in the, in the past because you um, you felt you had a lot to lose, or or this was them; they had a lot to lose. Um, being. Um, very careful, um, wanting to do the right thing. There were consequences. <clears throat> In the beginning, I feel like you, uh, you did not see the truth. I feel like they, this person comes back around, uh, bringing with them an apology. But there's deception here, you see. And the fool is in reverse. Something has come out. Something, yeah, they're, they're telling you something. Uh, something has come out about their relationship. Um, and you, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, they want to start something up again with you. Maybe you feel that's risky, or maybe it really is risky. <laughs> Third party energies lying above and below that were released in the past, but now they're, it's like resurfacing. And you want to go back 
to this person, but you're not completely unaware. Like, um, you, you're going to think things through this time, whereas in the past you just kind of jumped right in. Not this time. As much as you want to go back to this person. This time you're aware of the 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 um, the dangers that surround that action of plucking that rose. So reflecting upon the trust that you undeservingly placed in someone in the past. Do you want to do that again? The chimera. This is wanting something badly at any cost. Um, obsessing over it, even. Um, but you have experience with this person. So you, even though there's been that slight change, ah, there's something that, that in your gut is telling you you shouldn't be doing this, I, I feel. Uh, with the chimera, it's a thing that, uh, that is hoped or wished for, but in fact is, um, is an illusion or something that is or would be impossible to achieve. A decision to be made uh, on this 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 eight of cups here is somebody who uh, will come and drink from the cup um, but then after a little time they're going to leave this is somebody who can have commitment issues now you are not trusting the coin that they are offering because last time <clears throat> they walked out on you or you cut them out or that you suspect that it's just a relationship of convenience and you're confused and you want to make the right choice you are seeking a direction maybe you are thinking of healing this relationship You're, it's certainly something that you're thinking about. The question is, would you do it? Would you take them back? And right now, it's like you're holding back on that because, yeah, see, here's the next card. You're not really trusting them, what they're telling you. So here we have the social life. This is somebody who feels alone. Maybe you're tired of being alone and the temptation, you know, maybe you're tempted to take them back for that reason. Um, hmm. The fool, do you want to take the risk? There we have it again, eh? Do you really want to try to fix this uh, shoe because he's lost his shoe and the next stop on his on his path is at the ma the magician who in this deck is actually the cobbler um, to decide if he's going to have his shoe fixed or get a new one now so uh, for you that is do you want to try to fix this and continue down that path or do you want to get a brand new one take a completely different path so the next card here is the five of cups and in this deck it speaks to experience so this is learning by experience and the lessons that you have learned okay and um, Whatever you did learn in the past taught you something, right? 
and you may have to apply those past lessons now to a current situation in order to see new growth or for your own growth. So lessons from the past are going to be very important here. And uh, here we have foresight at the bottom of the deck. So um, she is studying that coin and, and I, you know, uh, looking ahead uh, based on the experience uh, from the past. And so she can pretty much <laughs> determine which way this is going, or at least she feels she can, and she's not trusting. This is, you know, having learned those lessons, I believe, whoever you are, you have indeed. And, uh, and then we have this anchor. And this card is advising you to continue along on your path and do not veer off of it. Um, because this change here that has come in will not be in your favor. Okay, so you need to be more cautious. And the Queen of Coins is most definitely cautious. So, um, I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.